While this game is not an MMO or an RPG, it's still a game that has a little bit of inspiration from both of those genres, and it may appeal to fans of both, especially if you grew up on a game like, say, Diablo 2. The game that I am talking about is Dark and Dark. Dark and Darker from Iron May Studios is a first person shooter, but not shoot. It's a first person PVP VE extractor shooter game. I guess the magic counts as shooting, right? So essentially take escape from Tarkov, but instead of guns, add in axes and swords and daggers and bows and fireballs. You know, for good measure, you gotta have fireballs. The idea is pretty straightforward. You enter a dungeon at random locations, kill critters, gain gear, try really hard not to die to other players and extract through the blue portals at the end. It's the type of game that I never really thought I would get into. Wait. Damn it. Shit. But it has a surprisingly addictive quality. Dark and Darker is by no means a complete game, and you can tell. It feels like a demo, which makes sense because that's essentially what it is. Dark and Darker is currently in alpha, and this is their second playtest. And with this round of testing, they added the Goblin Caves, which includes a much needed, at least in my opinion, solo friendly mode, instead of requiring you to group up or ping you against other groups as a solo player. The queues are, at this time, incredibly fast, and rounds can last from several minutes, up to 10, I believe, or a couple seconds. <laughs> The game is essentially both slow paced and hardcore. You will spend a lot of time wandering about the caves, trying to kill monsters, open chests, and break crates while avoiding other players, or if you're more bloodthirsty, seeking them out. The combat is surprisingly easy to figure out, but it's also pretty damn easy to panic and mess up. How many times did I just whiff, for example, when trying to hit someone or something and just couldn't get the distance right? I always felt like I was closer than I actually was, or that my axe was longer than it was. Don't take that out of context, please. There are also different perks and skills, although some of those have not been added in yet into this testing phase. As the Berserker, you get four skills to pick from, each with each of their own positives and negatives. And while I personally constantly forgot to use them or use them at inopportune moments, they add something to the game more than just jousting back and forth or dodging arrows. The classes play different enough that it made me want to test them all out. The entire dynamic of the game changes though with a group of up to three players with class roles making for strategy, not unlike an MMO. Healers, rogues, tanks, and even rangers that are surprisingly very effective. All add something different to the game and utilizing their skills, communicating with their teammates, but all becomes very important, especially with friendly fire and a zone that is honestly trying to kill you with traps and all kinds of really mean PVE monsters as well as players. Oh shit. Uh, uh, fear. Uh no, oh, okay, um, run, 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 run. Shit, just, fun, just, just get the hell away, get away, get away, get away. Uh, door, 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 door. Okay, just open. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do this, you can do this. Close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. quick. Close it, close it, close it. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, what the fuck? No, 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 no. The fire, what? No, no, <laughs> no, no. Another door? I don't know, I don't know, oh my God. What the what do I do? Dark and Darker is a game to me that looks like it has a lot of promise, offering the same kind of fun I got from things like Battlegrounds and World of Warcraft, or more recently, PvP in Halo Infinite, and mashing it together with some really fun PvE, dodging traps, or, you know, not dodging them, and taking on boss battles that were honestly kind of difficult. 
it was a little bit like playing like a bite-sized MMO, just little bits of an MMO here, here and there that'll try and get you to engage. A hardcore MMO, but in a way that's a bit more manageable than say a game like Mortal Online 2. Iron Mace, the studio making the game, introduces themselves as a merry band of veteran game developers disillusioned by the exploitative and greedy practices we once helped create. We are experts who have worked on many of the biggest hits in Korea. The About Us section goes on to read like a love letter to fans of a game who've been ravaged by loot boxes, battle passes, DLCs, and every other form of microtransactions you can throw into a game. Well, consider me interested, Iron Mace. But as for the game itself, we know what it's like in its current state, but not necessarily what it will become. It's a fun, at times punishing, first person fantasy dungeon crawler that melds PvP and PvE together in exciting ways. It's a pretty game with a great atmosphere and the use of sound, for example, really pulls you in. I can't tell you how many times that I ducked away to hide from footsteps. Actually, you know, that actually reminds me of a video from another content creator who's excellent you should check him out mitch mannix when he played mortal online 2 quickly scurrying it away i saw the owners barreling towards me and quickly bolted away from them i was in a deep part of the sewers so would need to think on my feet to get away so in a quick decision slipped into a dark corner of the sewer caverns and waited for my criminal status to drop off as well these were stolen goods all within reaching range of potential death as well as what i imagined to be extremely enraged owners of my newly acquired inventory walking right past me Uh oh. Oh god, he's coming up. <laughs> oh my god, I want to do that. <laughs> yes! Get in! Yes! Oh god, I still need to get out. Those are the kind of experiences that those experiences that Mitch had in Mortal Eye 9 2 that I was getting on a smaller but more frequent scale in Dark and Darker. <laughs> I had no chance. The use of sound and this kind of atmospheric tension that really gives you moments in the game where you just get sucked in. You live and breathe in that moment. But the game isn't without its concerns for me. The biggest are probably going to be first, the amount of content. How long will it be before the same enemies, the same two or three maps get old? We're still in alpha, so the amount the game could expand on before launch could be huge or it could not be much at all. We really don't know. But honestly, for its current state as a game in alpha, as they're calling it, or a demo, there's a lot more to this game than I was expecting at this stage. It's already looking pretty good. I could see myself playing it in its current state for a while, like giving it probably a good amount of time. It does help that there is currently no financial investment on my part, it's free. So that's probably a big part of why I'm so eager to just keep playing it. But I think if they keep expanding from here, they have a solid formula and they have the, the assets and things to already make it, make it fun. But the next big concern is going to be balancing. One of the things that I've seen hurt a PvP MMO is that the gear ramp up becomes more like a wall. The players who got there first had time to slowly work their way up, kind of as the game intends you to, while new players are then pitted against the veterans immediately, essentially putting them in no-win situations. This isn't about trying to even it out or take away from the fun of being a dominant force. Rather, this is about giving that initial player the same opportunity to ease into the game 
that the first players got. This can be a somewhat divisive issue for hardcore PvP games, but I've personally never really liked when players want to pull the ladder up that they used behind them so that the next players can't use it just because you want to have that advantage. The young status in Ultima Online is a good example to me of how players can kind of be eased in. It was both a timed and skill-based protection, and it still allowed for the gap many players crave once the status expires. The end goal for these games is going to be playing them and having people to play with. You won't be able to get queues to pop if no one is playing the game, so it makes sense to at least have some way for players to actually engage in the game early. And that is one thing I will caution anyone going to try Dark and Darker right now. When you first load in, expect to die. Expect to die a lot. Treat it a little bit, I guess, like a Souls-like, whereas it's gonna take a while to start getting the hang of things. The good news is once you die, you can hop right back in. You're not really losing much, and every time that you go through, you're gaining experience. So there is a, a constant progression as you level up through just playing the game. It just takes some time to get used to how the mechanics work. It's not, it's not a fast paced twitchy game. Like there's not really dodging. It's very slow paced, but it does take just awareness. Awareness is really important in this game as well as the ability to just kind of cut your losses and oh yeah, next time. I mean, I, I lost track of how many times I died before I even got really out of the first few rooms when I first played. But if you can play with someone else that's played the game a little bit more, even better. You can play with up to three people. And one quick tip here, if you're looking to try and play with others and maybe those others have gained more levels than you or things like that, the way that it works right now is the last person to get the hit is going to get the experience on, on a creature. So maybe, you know, get a couple of hits in, let your new friend come in and get that kill for you. The current play test will be going until February 14th and I expect we'll be getting another playtest in the next couple of months. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Redbeard Flynn, and I hope you have a wonderful day.